Hey YouTube, this is my fourth time trying to do this video, but I want to come and give you um, how I feel about this year's musical performance at the Super Bowl show. Now, let me just give you this. I might tell say things you might not like, but I'm going to speak the truth. Now, I want to keep if you got a comment or a comment or opinion you want to put put below, make sure it's a positive opinion. All right, so let's get started. So I want to start off with the National Anthem. National Anthem was done by none other than Miss Gladys Knight herself. Now, I felt like that was so appropriate to do. She is a legend in her own right. To get me to say, I felt like that was a phenomenal performance. Now, of the National Anthem. Okay, here comes halftime. And they present Maroon 5. Alright. Now, at my house, the uh, Super Bowl is a big deal. Now, my um, as you, if you don't know, my dad passed away early last year. And he's a big Patriots fan. <laughs> And my mom, he was going, uh, so you got the Patriots in the house, but then you got my mom going for the Rams. So we're going to have, I have to wait and see and check with her to see who won. But I want to come and talk about Maroon with Fi's performance. They had a lot of features and stuff. They had Outkast. They had ooh, uh, so many names. That I can't, I can't hardly think of them all, but it, they had so many features. Now, when it comes to Maroon 5, their performance was okay. Now, my uncle goes, look at, just like, haul, hauls out real loud. Who's Maroon 5? Now, my uncle, he's a big-time lawyer. He has never heard of, you know, up, he knows, he knows of, Jay, of some of the music that we listen to, that me, my sister, his son, and his daughter listen to, including some, his wife listen to this kind of music. And the R&B, R&B music. He has never heard of uh, Maroon 5. He goes, who's Maroon 5? And I said, uh, and my sister said, oh, you might have heard some of their music and some movies. And, I, and, like, it kind of got it. And, like, he goes, oh, okay, okay, okay. And to me, the the performance was okay, but um, not to, I'm not to knock down Maroon 5. They had some good performances, and they had some good, uh, some good performances, and then some songs that, pe um, that should have never been part of the, um, part of the um excuse me y'all going blank part of the show but the one thing that actually got people to just like right from in the middle of the set when it had outcasts out there and at the end of the song was like those was the songs that everybody was like it was like my uncle and my aunt and all of us like nosy songs it was a better performance to get me to say Maroon 5, um, I like them. They're pretty good. They are more of a special guest feature performer because um, for a performer performer, uh, uh, I just don't think it worked for them this year because the music kind of was like kind of slumbered, kind of damn played and everything. Now, for 2020, if they pick music performances, I feel like it should be like a Mar uh, excuse me, a Rihanna, a Jay Z, Beyonce once again, um, a Christina Aguilera. I would have uh, thought Christina Aguilera would have been the perfect somebody to actually be the one headlining um the Super Bowl. That was just just probably just me, um. You could have had uh, the group B2K Reunite back, back together once again on this show, okay? You could have had them. You could have had, you was in Atlanta. You could have got all the, you, you was in Atlanta. You could have got music artists around Atlanta, um, like Bow Wow, Jermaine Dupri, uh, Jay, uh, Jermaine Dupri, DeBrett, 
um, oh my God, Outcast, anybody else, any it, uh, any local Atlanta artist would have been happy to have been featured on that show. But no, you bring somebody in from LA to um do the performance. That was some that was an outlet that you gave to somebody else and not giving to the local celebrity music artist in Atlanta. Now I want to hear from y'all. Now, cause of this thing, I like I'm saying I'm I give Maroon 5's performance at eight um a eight and a half because it was a little slumber to me and it was just I couldn't get into it because some of the music you can get into and some of it you can so I want to hear from y'all and the question of the day is if you was the commissioner of the NFL who would you want it to pick bring in somebody bring in somebody or use the local celebrity a local celebrity artist in Atlanta to do those performances. All right, y'all. It's that's all I have to say. So let me hear from you. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe.